Hi, my name is Giles and I'm going to be your storyteller tonight. Tonight's chapter is from a story about teeth, which is a book that I've written. I really hope you like it. A Story About Teeth by Giles Todd This story is not about a teddy or a toy. However, this story is for you if you're a girl or a boy. If you're getting big now and growing new teeth, then this story may come as a jolly big relief. Your new teeth are all hidden down in your gum, but then, ow, look out, here they come. As you eat, you will munch, crunch and chew, and after a while, something magical will happen to you. Your mouth will fill up with pearly white teeth, Ten in your top gum and ten underneath. Some may be straight, like a perfect square stone. Others may be squiffy, with a mind of their own. Your teeth will become floppy and wobble about. They might make you talk funny, then just fall out. If you've looked after your teeth and kept them brushed clean, all the hard work will pay off and your clean teeth will be seen. Pop the tooth under your pillow when you're tucked up in bed. You must be fast asleep with dreams floating around in your head. And if you've been good, this may sound a bit funny. The tooth fairy might come and leave you some money. Your tooth will be gone and you'll be quite happy. The grown-ups will tease you and they might call you gappy. More will fall out and new ones will grow. The tooth fairy will take them and you'll think, how do they know? Some will come out all on their own. Others will be knocked out by something that's thrown. One day you'll look down and there's one at your feet. Another may be pulled out when you're chewing a sweet. When the fairy is sure your teeth are correct and all growing well, she will not come again but upon your teeth cast a spell. You must be sure to brush them and keep them all clean. That way they can see what a good girl or boy you have been. In no time at all, you'll be in disbelief. You'll have your very own set of big grown-up teeth. For some wonky teeth, you may need to have braces. These move them around into all the right places. The fairy might come back to visit your little sister or brother. They will check on you, your father and maybe your mother. You will never know when they're coming or may even have been. The best advice I can give you is make sure they are clean. That's it for tonight's chapter. I really hope you enjoyed it. Good night, sleep tight, brush them teeth, and see you very soon for another bedtime chapter.